headline from today, quote, Pentagon Chief Chuck Hagel seeks to seeks deal to keep 10,000 troops in Afghanistan. The United States plans to pull out the bulk of its 57,000 troops in Afghanistan by the end of 2014 and has plans to retain a smaller force of around 10,000 forces after that. Now, understand something. This is in the context of President Obama uh, and the State Department and everybody coming out saying, well, look, we're done. In 2014, we're done. We're 100% done. We're out of there. The American people have said that repeatedly. We had an election on that issue, among many other issues. And we're tired of it. We're tired of war. We're tired of occupying a foreign country that doesn't want us there when we don't even know what the goals are. We're done, right? That was all along what was told. But I had warned you. I read articles in the past where they go, yeah, you know, we're totally in favor of uh, dr withdrawing, except that we want to keep like 15 or so, so thousand uh, guys there. Really? Well, then that would not be withdrawing. That's like uh, you're having sex with, with somebody and you say, no, no, it's okay, sweetheart. We'll stop having sex. I'm just going to leave the tip in. That's not withdrawing. That is still having sex. This is not withdrawing. This is still staying in your war. I love that. Could you imagine China uh, decides to put 10,000 troops in uh, Texas or Mississippi? And they go, no, 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 it's cool. Don't worry. This isn't a war. We'll just have 10,000 people occupying your own land, your sovereign land. I wonder how we would respond to that. We say, no, it's cool, guys, don't worry. We would flip out, oh my god, they're invading! I love the double standard. Uh, now, the article also says Afghan President Hamid Karzai doesn't want us there anymore. He's made that utterly clear. Only 27% of the American people support the war in Afghanistan. Two-thirds say it wasn't worth it at all. We should have never went in in the first place. And uh, so, what is the government's argument anyway, uh, in terms of why we went there in the first place and why we stayed there. Uh, well, remember they said it's twofold. Number one, kill Osama bin Laden. And number two, weaken Al Qaeda in the region. So uh, what has happened? Both of those things have been a success. Osama bin Laden is dead. You know how many Al Qaeda operatives there are in Afghanistan? This is not according to me, not according to any progressive blog. This is from our own CIA, their own numbers anywhere from 50 to 100 Al-Qaeda members in Afghanistan. And we got 57,000 guys there right now, and we're keeping 10,000 guys there. For what? Osama's dead, Al-Qaeda's not there. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get out! Get out! We don't want you there. But I love how not only is this, you know, not a big issue, even though I think this should be huge news, it's not getting any airtime. It's like... It, and it was buried in even good publications that I read uh, on a daily basis that always have good information. It was like, you know, buried in a little corner and people aren't looking. And it's like, oh, wonderful. So we're staying in a country we don't want to be in indefinitely.